Jersey sweatshirt. Good morning. It is pouring in New Jersey. Pouring. I'm talking about. I'm talking about uh, flood warnings and shit. Pouring. How's everybody doing this morning? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. The greatest coffee talk ever. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Coffee Talk, live from New Jersey. Hey. I'm home. Look at my sweatshirt. Look at my sweatshirt. Locally grown. Locally grown. Uh, uh, uh. By the way, could I have more of a double chin from this angle? We all know that I hate my chin. I hate my neck. I need like a small neck lift like that. <gasps> Y'all, can we just talk about how good that would look? Hey guys, I'm Jamie, I'm 21. Um, anyway, hey Terry Brewer. Um, I think I hear my kids. Uh, I do. I was so close. They were downstairs eating. Guess that's over. Anyway, so I am in New Jersey. We got here yesterday. Um, my mom is here now. Everybody's here. I think Carolyn's here. I don't know when she's coming. Y'all go through your room. Go through your room. Okay. Well, this is, this should be fun. Um... So, so they got off on the second floor. <laughs> why? Because that's a big one. So where are they now? We don't know. Oh, that's fun. Um, Michael and I are fighting. Ah, uh, great. Um, hi, Marisa Best. Okay. So, hi, Lan. All right. So let me. So here we go. So I was talking to my girlfriend, and I really want you guys to listen to this, okay? Go, N Max, go to the other door, please. Um, everybody in this hotel is going to hate us because my kids are waking everybody up. We were supposed to go to the beach today, my whole family. Supposed to go to the beach today. It's pouring. So now we'll just shove all the pre-max inside one small space and see who kills each other first. Great. <laughs> um... So, anyway, um, all right, so listen to this. I really want you guys to listen to this. This is important, okay? Um, what the? F <sighs> There's a ghost up in this mug. I'm not kidding. Okay, so I was talking to my girlfriend the other day, and she was like, I have a confession. And I was like, what? I thought it was going to be, like, scandalous. You know, something exciting. And basically she told me that she had become suicidal and that she went through this whole period that I, unbeknownst to me, that I had no idea about, that she went through this period of time where she had really like uh, considered hurting herself and had to like go away for a while and heal herself. And I was m mostly shocked, but not completely shocked. And I'll tell you why. There are some women that I know who never give themselves a break. They either don't feel they deserve one or 
they are so concerned with keeping up appearances for the Joneses that they want people to think they have it all figured out all the time. I can handle everything. No, give me more. They take on more. They take on more. They take on more. And metaphorically, it would look like they were, you know, Joey wearing all of Chandler's clothes. You know, could I be wearing any more clothes? She had taken on so much and provided so little break for herself that she eventually broke. If you don't take a break, you will break. That is a fact. If you don't take a break for yourself, you will break. You, we, our body mentally and physically is made up of all of the strongest materials that our maker had at his disposal. I'm sure he could have made us like titanium and we all could have been like Wolverine, but that probably would have been dangerous, especially given the climate now. We'd all be killing each other at pools and picnics. But bones are strong. They still break. Mentally, we are strong. Women are strong. But eventually, we will break. I posted that picture of myself yesterday as a reminder that less than a year later, I was so broken, I wanted to die. I wanted to die. I didn't want to break. I didn't want to time out. I wanted to be dead. Do you know how broken a woman has to be to, to, to want to be done? So as I was talking to her, I realized how important it is that we remind ourselves that breaks are crucial to the success of anything we do in this life. Whether it is uh, a break. Here's the other thing. Sometimes couples separate with the full intent of getting back together. But they need a break. And people look down on them like, oh, you can't take a break? You're married. Like, bitch, no. Don't tell me I can't take a break from my husband if I want to save my marriage. I'm going to take any kind of break I need. Because if I don't, it's going to end up completely broken and we're going to end up divorced. I've taken breaks from Michael before. He probably wants to take a break from me right now. I wish he would, to be honest. Like... It's where, where did this come from? This mythology that we are, that women have to be carrying everything they pick up from the time they come across it. We've got to carry everybody's problems. We've got to carry our marriage. We've got to carry our children. We've got to carry our, our in-laws. We've got to carry our own parents. We've got to carry our own shit. Plus get our periods. Plus plan birthday parties. Plus everything else that we have to do. Volunteer, remind people to vote. Uh, make sure your kid has cleats, pay for soccer online. Do we do goodie bags this year or do we don't do goodie bags this year? Everybody needs to be packed for the trip, blah, blah, blah. Y'all, it's too much. It's too much without a break. I have friends out here taking care of kids also taking care of their parents who have Alzheimer's, dementia, they're disabled, like, and th these women are running themselves to the ground, into the ground with no break. And they feel guilty for taking any time for themselves. And I am here to tell you, I love you way too much for that. I love you way too much for that. If the people in your own life are not going to champion you and look out for you and make sure that you are getting enough sleep, that you are eating healthy, that you are getting adequate time to decompress, I'm going to tell you, you need it. You need a break or you will end up completely broken. And then what will we do? What will we do if we're all broken? Really, what will the world do if all the women are broken? Listen. I'm, my hair is falling out. I'm shedding. I'm shedding like a dog, okay? Somebody needs to hear this. There is somebody out there right now 
watching this video and they are at their they are at their point y'all they are at their point they have been going and going and caring for other people and looking out for other people and listening to gossip and pu putting friendships back together and holding their marriage together and taking care of their children and now taking care of their parents and they are at their breaking point you need a break it is it is the most important thing you can do for yourself and you can't feel guilty about doing it. And by the way, it's not enough to just get your nails done, y'all. That's not what I'm talking about. I am not talking about a manicure. If one more person tells me to go get my toes painted, I'm gonna fucking blow my brains out. Don't you think if a pedicure relieved all of the pressure women were under, We'd all be fine. Oh, let me just run out and get my toes done for 30 minutes. Oh, I'm straight. Let me go back to taking care of my parents and my kids and my marriage and my this. Duh. About to have me like Reagan and the Exorcist spinning my shit all the way around. Goodness. It's too much. And, and honestly... And honestly, I blame us. I blame us because at some point we decided we weren't worth it. At some point we decided I'm not worth it. Let me, let me just put everybody else ahead of me so that mentally I'm so broken and I resent my kids and I resent my marriage and I resent my parents and I hate my siblings So what do you suggest then? I suggest finding real time for yourself. I suggest when you, because here's what happens. If you don't do it, you start fantasizing about getting in your car and driving away. Let's do an admission thing right here. Let's do an experiment. If you can hear my voice, my name is Jamie and I have allowed myself to get to the point that I have fantasized, daydreamed about getting in my car and driving away from everything and everyone that I love, from the life that I have built, I have dreamed, fantasized about driving away. Anyone else? From lack of self-care, I have allowed myself to get to the point that I would drive away from all of it. Anyone else? Am I the only, oh, Tracy Hess. Okay, thank God I'm not the only one. Lisa Can, thank you. Jamie Lynn, thank you. Talia Ways, thank you. Oh, Jennifer Nicole, look at this solidarity. Oh, Janet Brown, I love it. Melissa Shaw, I'm not alone. Amanda Height, we are not alone. Ashley, Terry, oh shit, Terry did it. Terry girl, we need to get a drink. Lori Joe. Yes, Brianna, I love you too, sweet boy. Bye bye, mom. Okay, so yes, Tara. Um, Michael's in the room with them. I don't take that disrespectful. He's letting them play. Listen, they're kids in a hotel. I don't mind if they're, you know. I'm going to take them to my brother's house and let them destroy my brother's house. Um, anyway, the thought is, the, uh, the point is, 
that to anybody who can hear my voice and anybody who's watching this, there may be people who are not brave enough to comment, people who are in it right now, people who are who have tears rolling down their face going, oh my God, Jamie, I'm, I'm at that point. I think about driving away. I don't know how much longer I can do this. This is your wake up call to take time for yourself. If you do not act now, you don't know where you may be a month from now, six months from now. You can't push yourself past the point. Like I knew when it was to the point that I used to think about driving away from everybody and I felt totally alone, by the way. I was like, what kind of mother am I if I think about driving away from my kids? I remember that my mom used to say that. I just want to get out of here from you kids. I just want to get in my car and drive away. And I used to think, you're a psycho, Susan. You're a psycho. Drive away and leave and don't ever come back. But y'all, I get it. And like I... I realized when I got to that point, it was because... At, and I know a lot of you are going, but Jamie, you get away all the time. You guys don't realize that's not a vacation. Being on planes, different time zones, up early to bed late, work, 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 the pressure to sell, 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 sell. I'm not, I'm not laying on a beach somewhere. I'm working the whole time. Michael just said to me the other day, you, when was the last time you took days for you? Not work, not like, I, Y'all, he's going to Chicago to play golf for four days. Just to play golf. No work, no kids, no wife, just him and a golf course. I, when was, what do I have? I don't have golf, I have work. What's my golf? I don't have this. Jenna Vaughn, you are not drowning alone. You are not drowning alone, boo. We are all in this ocean with you. Some of us are paddling. Some of us are treading water. Some of us are swimming to the shore. Some of us are drowning. And if one more person tells me you're in LA all the time, you get a break from your kids all the time. That is not really like, what do you think? I mentally check out from my kids. You think I'm not constantly texting them? Like, don't forget Max has soccer. Don't forget this one has a birthday party. Make sure this one picks up. Plus working, that's not a vacation y'all. There's no decompression there. So I'm sharing this with you today because when my girlfriend said that she was suicidal, I was like, holy shit. Who's looking out for us? Who is looking out for us? We need... Um, Jennifer Henry, welcome. We need like a real coffee talk retreat. I know I always say that, but I'm always afraid to plan it because I hate to tell you guys that anything will cost money. That's why I always do every appearance for free, every signing for free. I never want to charge people with coffee to, on coffee talk for anything. But the only way that I can do a coffee talk retreat is to charge people money. And I hate that. I hate when people make a connection and all of a sudden it becomes a business. But I have tried a thousand times to do it where it would be free for people and there's no way. So I don't know what to do. But I love you and I worry about you and I pray for you and I think about me and I pray for me and I pray for us and I worry about us and I just wanna make sure that we're taking care of ourselves because it is so important. Who is looking out for my kids? Lan, you worried about my kids? I'm not gonna block you because I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt that maybe you were talking about something else that I missed, but surely you ain't worried about who's watching my kids. First of all, daddy of the year is in the other room with them. Just so you know. Maybe I should just plan the retreat and whoever can afford to come can come. And maybe we could do a GoFundMe where everybody contributes $10 for women who can't afford it. That would be amazing. I won't take one penny. I will do all of it for free. I'm not trying to make money off you guys. I just want to make sure we can all be together. Imagine if we could get like three or 400 of us together for a long weekend, three days. And how many of us will start going, oh my God, three days, that's too long. How could I be away for three days? This is what we do. This is what we do. But if we did a GoFundMe and everybody contributed $10, we 
maybe we could do it. Atlanta. I, it would have to be in Atlanta. Oh my God, Joyelle, even if you're ashy, you're so beautiful, it doesn't even matter. Don't be ridiculous. What are you doing, Bugaboo? Oh, you're hiding. Um, all right, well, my kids are officially playing hide and seek in this hotel, which means it's time for me to get them out of here. Um, but I love you guys so much. I think you should share this video because I think somebody needs to hear it. There is a share button down there sometime, some, somewhere. Um, maybe share. And okay, everybody's saying they really want me to do the retreat, so I'll just do it. I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to charge money, but I think, I know I would add money to the GoFundMe, and I bet other people would add money to the GoFundMe. Look how many people bought people books, shipping love all over this country. I feel like we would look out for each other. Um, Canadians, we will figure it out, Christine Dennis. We will figure it out. Um, all right, I love you guys so much. There's a share button. Share the video. I love you. Have a great, great day. And know that I love you so much.